The Metro, yeah, the, oh, the Metro, I, I, that's really one of my, my favorite things because it has an effect, it's still, it's still going. I mean, we did the first three lines of the icons, I did the logo for the Metro. Oh, as a graphic designer, I guess my, my main job is to communicate specific ideas to identify specific things. Um, it's basically a visual communication system that I try to develop and it has to do with um, many, many different things for many different projects. And every project is different. But basically I'm, I'm a communicator. And I came to Mexico in, nine, was, let's see, it was uh, November 1966. I went over to the Museum of, of uh, Anthropology and spent most of the first week there and completely fell in love with the early cultures here. And you know, Mexico, in my mind, is one of the most visual, visually rich cultures in the world. At the end of the, um, the, end of the second week, I discovered that the, uh, the rings could be made into the 68. And that was the beginning of, of the logotype. I learned a lot with the Olympics as far as realizing that communication can be very visual. The one thing, the two things that are very, very, very difficult, I think in graphic design, maybe in everything, is to teach concept. And you can't really teach that. You can teach there's a possibility of having a unique, having an original concept. Then the other thing is process. You have a concept and you have to go through a process and you have a finished product, whether it's a film, whether it's a logo, no matter what, there's a process. And it's the, you know, how good that finished product is, is really how good you are as, I don't know, um, football player, dancer, graphic designer, artist, you know, there has to be something at the end that is valuable. When I tried to make the symbols for the stations of the Metro, they say, well, hey, we don't want people looking at us and saying, you know, no one can, can, can read or write. And I said, look, it's not a language that is only, I said, of course it's going to help people if they, if, you know, if they can't read or write, but it's a language that's international, and you have a lot of people visiting Mexico, and they can understand the city better. And of course, if you, if you keep the meaning for the stations, um, it's important that they mean something, each station. And it's important that each station can be identified in any language. So for example, if you're going to Candelaria, uh, and you're from China, and you can't, un you can't read Candelaria, you can tell your friend, I meet you at the duck, at the duck station. And I think here in Mexico you have, and I've said this so many times, you have such a visual culture. And I want to see the young designers get more into concept and more into process. And if they do that, you can be one of the top design nations in the world. I'm positive of that.